How's it going guys? Welcome back to another week and another Destiny 2 build video where this week I finally got my hands on the new Titan Exotic, the Point Contact Cannon Brace, and today we're going to be going over it and a little build that I made, but first I want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed, likes, comments, all that good stuff, showing support is such a huge thing for me, it helps me keep going every single week to make more stuff, so with that, let's get into the build video. One thing real quick before we start, it's kind of windy here today, and I live in a pretty old house, so if you hear that in the background, there's nothing I can do about it. But the build today, like I said, is going to be about Point Contact Cannon Brace, which comes with the exotic perk Hammer of the Gods. Defeating targets with your Thunderclap melee restores melee energy. Targets near you when you use your Thunderclap suffer lightning strikes. Being amplified increases the range of these lightning strikes. Now, let's talk about the good, the bad, and the potential fix. First off, these arms look bad ass. They add an interesting effect of calling down lightning upon a melee, which could be implemented in other ways in the futures for other class exotics, and those lightning strikes can hit targets with just a regular melee, I believe, if you are amplified. Now on to the bad. First off, they do not generate enough energy to get a full charge back on Thunderclap kills, making Skullford a better option if you just want to chain your melee. Secondly, the lightning strikes do not do enough damage for these to be a damage dealing option so you just put on synthos or heart of the most light for that which means that exotics that are considered in its same weight class for what it can do just do it better and for that i have a potential fix for these first things first get rid of the melee energy on kill and give it melee energy on lightning strikes feed into the identity of the exotic with those lightning strikes secondly make the lightning strikes jolt target so you can now play into those cool arc 3.0 things that you made and thirdly even if this is just a complete shot in the dark let the lightning strikes stun overload champions they said they wanted to give more exotic armor the ability to stun champions this is a good way to do it make it so that the lightning strikes caused by thunderclap have a chance to stun overload champions now i know that there are some things that need to be worked on for this exotic but i still made a build for them because they're new and they could eventually get a fix in the future so let's go over the class setup that i have for this build the first thing we're going to look at is Knockout. Critically wounding a target or breaking their shield infuses your melee attacks with arc energy and increases your melee range and damage for a short duration. Defeating targets with melee attacks starts health regen and makes you amplified. Now this is going to be a melee focused build, so we're going to take full advantage of Knockout, which is going to increase our range and our damage for our Thunderclap, as well as making us amplified so we can just move quicker and all that other stuff. And of course, Health regen is a huge thing to add to any build, especially if you're going to try to use them in the end game. Next, we're going to look at Touch of Thunder. Your flashbang, pulse, lightning, and storm grenades have enhanced functionality. I use pulse grenades, which create ionic traces periodically as it damages targets and increases its damage over time. Now, we're taking Touch of Thunder for two reasons. First, is it will give us that extra fragment slot to allow us to add more things to this build. And secondly, it will give our grenades some extra functionality. And in this case, pulse grenades are going to make ionic traces to give us abilities back faster. And quite frankly, make our grenades a little bit better if we have to deal with enemies at a slightly longer range. So with that, let's go over the fragments that I use for this build. First up, we're going to look at Spark of Resistance. While surrounded by combatants, you are more resistant to incoming damage with a plus 10 to our strength. I personally feel like this is the best fragment we have on our arc subclasses, as resistance is a huge thing to have. And we're going to be on a melee build, so we're probably going to be near a lot of enemies at any given time. This will allow this to work, and 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 the plus 10 strength is amazing to have if you do not have a high strength stat like myself second fragment on this list is spark of focus after sprinting for a short time your class ability of regeneration is increased but we also take a minus 10 to resilience this will help us keep our class ability up and ready to use i use thruster for this build because i like to go fast uh, however if you're using barricades this will also be a huge benefit to the build because obviously running from encounter to encounter even if you're in a strike you know they're still broken up into encounters this will allow you to get your barricade back between those so this way you have one ready to go as soon as you need it 
Next, we have Spark of Shock. Your art grenades jolt targets with a minus 10 to discipline. This will add some extra potency for our pulse grenades on top of Touch of Thunder and allow them to clear out larger groups of adds with ease due to the jolt effect that this now applies. I found it to be very helpful in certain situations where there were large adds of thralls that were coming at me during this week's nightfall and just cleared them out with complete ease. And finally, we have Spark of Feedback. Taking melee damage briefly increases your outgoing melee damage with a plus 10 to resilience. First, this counteracts the minus 10 we take for focus, so that's really nice. And I use this to have a chance to increase our damage even more. Like I said, this week's Nightfall has a ton of thralls, but you can let them get close, let them swipe at you, and get this to activate. Because as of right now, not on Grandmaster difficulty, they're not going to kill you. Plus, after you get this bonus damage and you kill them, you're going to start your health regeneration with Knockout. So, now let's move on to our armor mods to help this build just a little bit more. Now, the best part about this build is we aren't running any artifact mods for it. So let's go over the mods that I did use. First on the list is Elemental Ordinance. Defeating a combatant with a grenade spawns an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type. Now I know we are running a melee based build, but I chose to run this because honestly, grenades to spawn them with grenades, Elemental Ordinance is cheaper than Melee Wellmaker. It costs one less, so you could fit another mod in there if you really needed to. Secondly, I find it easier personally to make these wells with a grenade over a melee. There's a lot of risk for using a melee in higher end content compared to using a grenade, so I just run Elemental Ordinance over Melee Wellmaker. The next mod we're going to look at is Elemental Charge. Become charged with light by picking up an elemental well. If the elemental well's element type matches your subclass element, you gain two stacks of charge with light. So we're going to be making arc wells with our grenades. So picking them up is going to give us two stacks of charge with light, which is going to be really helpful because we're going to spend a lot of these stacks with heavy handed. While charged with light, regain half of your melee energy when you use a charged melee ability, consuming one stack of charge with light. This mod is going to help us get our thunderclap back in its entirety. Stacking this with the kills that you get alongside melee kickstart, which I'm going to go over here in just a minute, is going to allow you to get all, if not most, of your melee energy back every time you use your thunderclap if you have a stack of charge with light. So, it's going to be highly beneficial for whatever way you're making these stacks. In my case, a grenade, which will allow me to pre-charge heavy-handed, is going to allow you to play that loop a lot more efficiently of just getting a well, getting a melee kill to then proc heavy-handed, to then get your thunderclap pack, and then repeat the process over and over again. Now let's go over the other mods, the other two mods that I use for this build. The first one we're going to look at real quick is just Radiant Light. I use this in order to get my strength high because quite frankly my titan is very much so lacking in the strength department i really need to go hunt down some more strength focused armor but if you don't need this i highly recommend seeking wells or something you would just rather prefer to run i also used melee kickstart as it does stack with heavy handed for getting your melee energy back when you use your melee. And if you don't have any stacks of charge with light built up, this is going to help assist with your next thunderclap attack. So with that though, that is all the mods that I used and a few options that you guys can kind of swing with. Again, if you don't need Radiant Light, swat in something you would rather use. And of course, Melee Kickstart is nice, but also not necessary. So let's go over some weapons that you might want to use for this build. Now, as for weapons, you can run whatever you're comfortable with. However, of course, just keep in mind that there are some weapons that play into this build better. For example, things like Monte Carlo, being able to get your melee energy back without the use of heavy handed or without the use of anything like that is very good if you just do not want to use the mods. Also keep in mind the anti-champion mods that we have on our artifact this season. We have anti-barrier scout rifle, anti-barrier sniper rifle, and if I remember correctly I also believe there is anti-barrier auto rifle on there. So of course you could use Monte Carlo for the end game if you truly desire to go that route. We also have unstoppable shotgun and pulse rifles. These are very nice. You could use a shotgun for a potential one-two punch build for the end game with thunderclap and 
this particular exotic or any exotic that increases your damage. And then finally, we have Overload LMG and Overload both. Thunderlord is very, very, very good. I know it has Overload intrinsically on it, but it is still a very good option. I used it in a Lost Sector the other day, and I was very impressed with how it performed. Now, that is the end of the video, so I hope everybody has enjoyed it, and I hope everybody can try to make something out of these exotics. I know they are not in the best position as of me making this video, but hopefully in the future, Bungie will fix them, make them better, and then this build can really shine. So I hope everybody has a good week.